question 12, 62 hundredths take away 38 hundredths. Well, the fact that we've got two fractions here, both with common denominators, the denominator is like the unit, so we're dealing with hundredths. So our answer is also going to be in hundredths. So we might as well, in our answer straight away, put out of a 100. So what really matters now is what 62 take away 38 is. So if I work out 62 take away 38, possibly do it in your head. We're going to use a column method just to make sure. 2 take away 8, I can't do because 2 is smaller than 8, so I can't take 8 off it. So I'm going to borrow from the next column. So cross out the 6 and that becomes a 5. And the 1 I've borrowed turns the 2 into 12. Now I can carry on. 12 take away 8 is 4. And 5 take away 3 is 2. So I'm down to 24. So 62 take away 38 is 24. But because I'm dealing 62 one hundredths take away 38 one hundredths, I'm down to 24 one hundredths. So in my answer box, I need to make sure I've written 24 one hundredths like that. Another way of describing it is imagine the unit that we've said is hundredths at the bottom of the fraction. Imagine that saying apples. So 62 apples take away 38 apples. Well, 62 take away 38 is 24. So that would be 24 apples. 62 oranges take away 38 oranges would be 24 oranges. 62 policemen take away 38 policemen would be 24 policemen. So 62 hundredths take away 38 hundredths is 24 hundredths. And that is your final answer. You could go one step further and simplify that if you really wanted to, but you would still get the mark for 24 one hundredths because it is only worth one mark. So they're not going to knock you a mark off if you haven't simplified it. So to simplify it, we need to divide both 24 and 100 by a number that goes into both of them. Well, they're both even numbers, so we could divide them both by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. And 100 divided by 2 is 50. So that's a simplified version. But then these are both even again. So we could divide them both by 2 again to simplify it even further. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 50 divided by 2 is 25. Now I don't think there is a number that will divide into both 6 and 25 other than 1. And there's no point dividing by 1 because you'll just still end up with 6 25ths. So the simplified version would be 6 out of 25, or 12 out of 50, or 24 out of 100. Remember, all of these fractions are equivalent. They are called equivalent fractions. So any of them would technically be correct. But as I said earlier, they wouldn't knock you a mark off if you haven't simplified it here, because the question is only worth one mark.